Welcome back everybody. I'm Michael Foley and today we're going to talk about basic head movement for boxing, kickboxing and MMA striking. We're going to talk about how to move your head off of your basic punch combinations that we covered in the last video. You're not going to need any specialized equipment for this and you're not going to need a partner. We'll save that for the intermediate video. So there's four types of head movement we're going to work on. We're going to work on slipping, rolling, drop, and pull. We're also going to talk about when to do each type of head movement. So before, during, and after you finish punching. So first things first, like always, we get in our basic kickboxing stance. Step back with my right foot because I'm right-handed. Reach your hands out front, make fists, and draw them back in. From this position here, the first type of head movement we're going to do is called the slip. The slip is something you can do before, after, or even during a punch. And it looks like this. I'm going to turn my shoulder, shrug, so that my shoulder becomes close to my jaw, and then I'm going to bend my front leg like this. When I do it quick, then to the other side, I turn my shoulder, push off with my front foot, bend my back foot, shrug my shoulder into my jaw, and I should be looking in the direction that my opponent is and where that punch is coming from. Again, and quick. A good way to train your slip from your stance is to shift your weight from side to side. If I wanna to slip to my left, I'm gonna push off with my right foot, turn my right shoulder until it comes in contact with my jaw, and I bend my left leg and I sink down onto that leg. Then I come back, I do the opposite. I push off my left foot, turn my shoulder into my jaw, and sink to my right foot, and then come back. And to do it quickly, So taking my head off the line of fire from my opponent. The next type of head movement we're gonna do is a roll. Sometimes it's called a bob and weave. It's an extension of the slip. So what I'm gonna do, I push off my right foot, turn my right shoulder forward, sink onto my left foot. Now from here, I'm gonna bend my legs, roll underneath, transferring my weight from my left foot back to my right foot, and I end up in the slip position on the right side. And from here, back to the middle. Again, I push off my right, turn my shoulder, my right shoulder to the front, sink down to my left foot. Now from here, I'm gonna drop, bend my legs, shift my weight from my left foot to my right foot. I end up in the slip position on the right side, then come back to the middle a little quicker. And to the right. The third type of head movement we're gonna talk about is the drop. So what it looks like is this. From here, all I'm gonna do is bring my guard to the front. I'm gonna get my knuckles up to my forehead, above my eyebrows, and I bend both legs straight down, and then up, and then up, and up. From the side, guard comes to the front. My chin drops, my knuckles come right here above my eyebrows, and I bend both legs. And the last one we're gonna talk about today, it's called the pull. It looks like this. I'm in my stance. I'm gonna step back with my trailing leg. So for me, that's my right leg. I step away with it. And I'm gonna bend that leg and I'm gonna lean back into this position. Some fighters like to turn their shoulder forward as a guard right here. But some famous boxers like Floyd Mayweather Jr open up so they're almost square when they do it. We're not gonna be Floyd Mayweather here. So for practice, what I want you to do is you're gonna step back, glove up, and come forward. Step back, glove up, and forward. From the side, step back. I shift my weight to my back foot. My front glove comes up, and then forward. Shift back, come forward. Shift back, come forward. And here's arguably the most important part, when to do head movement. Typically speaking, when students start out here brand new, we get them in their stance, we get their guard in position, then we teach them basic punches. The next phase, it's to move their head after they finish punching. If 
you and I are squared off and we're gonna fight and I hit you with a jab cross, I don't wanna just stand here because you're gonna block those shots, remove your head, and my head's gonna be right on the line of fire. So what I wanna do instead is I'm gonna step in, throw my jab, and then my cross. Now I have a choice to make. What type of head movement am I gonna do? Whatever hand you finish with is the side you're gonna exit your head to. So I'm finishing with my right hand. So from here, I'm gonna bring my hand back to my guard. But as I do that, I'm gonna turn my left shoulder forward, bend my right leg, and I'm gonna slip to my right and then reset. So a little quicker, it looks like this. Jab, cross, slip, reset. Again, jab, cross, slip, reset. If I wanna slip to my left side, I'm gonna do so when I finish with my left hand. I'm gonna throw a cross and then a hook. Now from here, my head's gonna slip to the left side. So as I bring my hand back to my guard, I'm gonna roll my right shoulder forward, bend my left leg and slip to here and then reset. So cross, hook, slip, reset. Cross, hook, slip, reset. The next type of head movement is rolling and off your jab cross, it looks like this. I throw my jab and I throw my cross. Now because when I throw my cross, my head moves slightly towards my left, Slipping is not always the best choice because I have to bring my head back across the line of fire with my opponent. So sometimes it's a better idea to throw your jab cross. Now from here, I'm gonna drop straight down as my hand comes up to my guard and I'm gonna switch my weight to my back leg and then I come up over here. So I throw my jab, my cross, and I roll underneath the line of fire and reset. Jab, cross, roll. Same thing with the cross hook. Cross, hook from here, drop down to my right foot, guards intact, roll underneath the line of fire, and reset. Cross, hook, roll underneath. Cross, hook, roll underneath. Quick. The third option is to drop. A drop is simple enough. You throw your jab, your cross. As you bring your guard back to your forehead, you're going to drop straight down. And from here, I push off and step out. So jab, cross, drop. Jab, cross, drop. And the last one is a pull from here. I throw my jab cross, I pull straight back here. And this is a great one to counter off of, and it looks like this. I throw my jab cross, I pull, and then I throw another cross. Jab cross, pull, cross. Jab cross, pull, cross. From the side, jab cross, pull, cross. Jab, cross, pull, cross. Let's talk about how to put it all together. The punches you choose are arbitrary. It can be uh, basic single punches. It can be combinations of punches. It can be strung together combinations of punches. But how you string them together, how you exit your combinations, and how you finish single punches should include some head movement. So the first one looks like this. You're gonna start off, you're gonna throw a single punch. So for me, it'll be a jab, and I'm gonna slip. When I have that down, I'm gonna jab and I'm gonna roll. When I have that down, it's gonna be a jab and a drop. And when I've got that down, it's a jab and a pull. And I can do this with any single punch. So cross, slip, cross, roll, cross, drop, cross, pull, and then I can put together two punch combinations. Jab, cross, slip, jab, cross, roll, jab, cross, drop, jab, cross, pull, 
Then I can build up to three punch combinations. Jab, cross, hook, slip. Jab, cross, hook, roll. Jab, cross, hook, drop. Jab, cross, hook, pull. Once you've got those fundamentals down and you're starting to feel comfortable, now it's time to play with this a little bit and get a little creative. So what I want you to do is take your stance, go through any punch combination you wanna throw and practice stringing together your head movement between your punch combinations. It looks like this. Jab, cross, slip. Jab, cross, hook, slip. Jab, cross, roll. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on notifications. We'll be updating the channel weekly. I'm Michael Foley. I'll see you on the mats.